Hello, Leonie Parker here. Our video blog today is about guiltaholics. Are you a guiltaholic? I certainly am, even though I've spent months and months, actually years, trying to eliminate it. And uh, I eliminate, well, I help clients eliminate their guiltaholic problems as well. Now, I think feeling guilty is something that just goes with women. Um, maybe some men as well, but from my experience of eight years working with women, feeling guilty is just such a natural thing for them. Um, not as children, often not as teenagers, but we grow into it. I was quite a selfish teenager, so I didn't often feel guilty about much. But as soon as I had children, that guilt really just started to consume me. So the two main things I have to deal with when it comes to guilty um, guiltaholics is, first of all... Um, which is the most common one when they're going really well. My clients are doing really well on their meal plans, which are always delicious, by the way. So you always don't feel like you're um, you're dieting. And then they stuff up. Say there's work drinks or something. Something comes up. Their birthday, their partner's birthday, or they went away for the weekend, um, and they just they sort of got like, got out of the mojo, and they they ended up stuffing up. Um, this is the most common one. So what ends up happening from there is instead of just stuffing up once or twice, or even if it's stuffing up for a couple of days, um, let's be realistic, they end up just going in this massive spiral of weeks of just getting out of control. So there's that type of person, right? And I'll get more into that in a second. The other type is the one that I trained not to do that. And let's talk about that one because it's nicer. Um, and hopefully one that you can strive to be. Um, so they stuff up. They have work drinks. There's all of those little savory pies there. And just things that, um, that aren't good when you're trying to lose weight and improve your health. But always scream your name. And it's kind of just like, oh my god, I can't even avoid them. So you end up eating 10 of them. You end up just going going to town and you don't even realize how bad it is until you, you eat your 10th one. You just think, oh my God, what have I done? What have I done? You feel like crap. You feel sick because you've been eating such good food. So that really does not go well in your tummy. Um, and then after that, you, f you feel terrible. You say to your partner, right, I, I just want to leave now because the thoughts have started in your head. They've started doing that spiral thing of going, what have you done? You've stuffed this up. Oh my God, I can't believe it. You're going so well. You'll never be slim. You'll never be healthy. You get in the car and you're pretty depressed and angry, maybe taking it out on him. And then you go through McDonald's drive through because all those thoughts are just saying to you, you've stuffed it up now. You might as well go to town. So it doesn't stop there, does it? You go to bed, angry, feeling sick, you wake up the next morning, you keep going. Because of those thoughts of just saying you've stuffed up, you might as well just go for it now, go for it all weekend, and you just, you go for it, big time. That happens for, say, say, say you go through sort of good points, but you keep saying in your head, um, you're just not going to get back there. So that happens for three days and you have one good day and then you stuff up at the end of the day because your thoughts just start saying, well, what are you doing? Five months go down, um, five months down the track and you see something on Facebook or on TV um, with some awesome before and after photos and a really affordable price and you just think, okay, I have the motivation back. I'm going to do it. You jump in, let's say it's four weeks this time, you do really well for four weeks and then you go on away for a girls weekend holiday and oh my goodness, you go to town big time. And again, that process, it's spiraling out of control and spiraling into beating yourself up with your guiltaholic problem. Um take you down exactly the same track until again you get hit with the ad or that motivation that gives you the boost again. So is that you? Is that you when it comes to food? Let's go back to the other person, my client. So she stuffs up at some work work drinks. She eats 10 of those pies. She thinks, my God, Leonie is going to be really angry at me when I talk to her, which I'm never angry. I'm just, I just do a disappointed thing, a disappointed thing to them. So, um, they do that and then they go, right, I felt like crap from that. I really learned to lessen there. I didn't enjoy eating those at all. They just kind of, the smell got me because that's what always, that's what it usually is, isn't it? It's the smell sinks you in, sucks you into it. And then you eat and you think, yuck, it was terrible. So they ate them. They think, 
okay, I can either go two ways, my old way, which is just going to town now and just losing myself, or I could say, right, I'm a rubber band. I'm not going to cut my rubber band like the other person. I'm going to bounce back. It's been stretched out. It's veered off track, track just slightly. Um, and now it's bouncing back. It's bouncing right back. And the next meal is going to be awesome. I'm going to push it a little bit harder at train, training tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be really good with my food prep. So all week I can really make up for that. And you feel amazing. That that guilt doesn't last at all. It's there and then sh zap, it's gone. Because you've just said, who cares? I'm human, it will happen. Every person stuffs up when it comes to your food. Health professionals, if they say they don't, they're lying. Okay, Every person stuffs up when they're on some kind of training regime or diet. So, I mean, I do it weekly. More than, more than once too. So beating yourself up is just not going to serve you whatsoever. You imagine five months down the track, the person who cut their rubber band, where they'll be. They'll be probably more overweight, more unhappy, losing more of themselves because of their out of control thoughts that eat them away. And then the other person who said, right, I did it, I'm human, back on the wagon. Where will they be? Where will that person be? The one that had their rubber bound bounce back. Five months down the track, they'll be doing pretty awesome. And imagine if even three times out of every week, they still stuffed up. They'd still be doing awesome because that's only three times out of how many times do we eat during the week? Out of seven days, quite a few, right? It'd be in the hundreds, wouldn't it? So, think about that. Think about which person you want to be. Which person do you want to be? Now, the other guilt that I get, which I'm not going to go over in this blog so it's not too long, is the guilt of um, when you're working. When you're a working mum like me, and particularly since I've got my own businesses, I can choose when to work on them. Um, and that gets really hard. Sometimes I wish I could just go to work for a certain amount of time and then I'm finished. But as business owners know, it doesn't stop. So... Um, I feel guilty for taking off and leaving the kids with my husband so I can work for three hours and then come back and then spend time with them, then going back to work. And I feel guilty working in front of them. So then I'll go through patches of, of going, okay, for these two days, I'm not going to work at all. But then I start feeling guilty going, well, God, I, I need to work. Where will the money come from? Um, my clients need me. I need to be saving the world from these guiltaholics. I need to stop that. So that guilt never ends. It's always a big one, that one. Um, but I can always zap those thoughts and I can always improve. And I know consciously what's going on. I know what I'm doing. I know that it's just my old self popping up um, when I used to get really, really guilty and it would get out of control just like you. So think about, again, what person you want to be. Do you want to be the rubber band that stretches out and bounces back? Or do you want to get out your scissors every time, sharper than ever, and cut cut that rubber band so you just go flying out? Okay, have a think about it. Are you a guiltaholic? Until next time, bye-bye.